Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you an awesome plugin that a member of the community of the Facebook group created in order to export your headers and builders from one website and import them to another site. This is the most amazing thing in the world because it just works perfectly. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So you're going to navigate to his GitHub, which I'll put the link down in the description below. And what you're gonna basically do is once you arrive on this page, you're gonna click the big green button that says clone or download, and you're gonna download the zip. Now I've already downloaded it, and it's called Exporter Master. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is once you've created your headers or your footers, then you wanna go ahead, and I just wanna show you guys the ones I made. I made a very simple one here for my header, and then for the footer, I made a a pretty simple one here just so you guys know that it's a custom one and that we're going to be exporting it so once you go ahead and do this let's install the plugin by adding a new plugin uploading and we're going to click and drag the file that was downloaded and install now and once this is installed we're going to go ahead and activate the plugin and this plugin is going to create a new menu on the left hand side of your dashboard uh, called exporter which you can see right here. So let's go ahead and click on the exporter on this website that you want to export your header or footer. So you get to this screen right here. And once you arrive to this screen, um, this is where it's going to show you all of your headers and footers, uh, colors, uh, your fonts and images that are associated with those headers and footer, footers. So right now we're going to go ahead to the right hand side and click load elements. Once we load the element, we're gonna see all of the headers and footers that we have on this current website. It tells you the type, the name that you made, and the actual ID of the header and footer. So let's go ahead and export both of these. And as you can see down here on the bottom where it says associated images, it's going to actually pull those images as well. All right, so let's go ahead and export the selected elements. All right, so it created a zip file and you can download it. So let's click on this and it downloaded right here. Let's go to the new site. We already have the exporter plugged in um, installed. So let's go to the importer. We're gonna click and drag the file that we downloaded from the other site right into this box. And this is just letting you know that you need to upload only files that were created with this plugin. So we're gonna import the data. All right, so it tells you that the import was finished without any problems, so we hit okay. And now we can go up to our Pro Builder, hit launch, go to headers, and we have our custom header for export, which is what the name of it was. And it looks just like that. We can go ahead to our footers, and check and we have our custom footer that was made on the other site right there so let's say um, you want to build a new header real quick on the other site that you want to export we can do that let's go ahead and uh, let's do a blank one new header create that let's go ahead and edit this real quick add some stuff here so you can get a feel of what we can do. All right, so I've got a couple things there. So let's go ahead and save this. Go back to our dashboard. The exporter, we're gonna export this again. We have to click load elements. And here are the new ones, including the old ones. So we want to export only the new one that we did. So this is a new header. And we want to go ahead and export selected elements. And download. Let's go to our new site. Go back to our dashboard. Import. Drag and drop. Import data. Click OK. And we are all good to go. Let's go ahead and make sure it's there. Go to our headers and 
we have our new header right there from the other um, website. Okay, let's go back to our dashboard and to our media. And as you can see, it actually imported the media itself. How awesome is that? Usually with export tools and import tools, it links back to the original image, but no, this actually imports it from the other site, which is a saving grace. Um, so I wanna give a huge shout out to Philip, and I know that you guys are gonna enjoy this. Go ahead and download it now, it's 100% free. Um, I would definitely message him and shoot him a thank you because this is just amazing. This saves hours and hours worth of work so, um, to have to not recreate headers and footers across websites. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you.